Like a plane? jumbo. What, it's like a, a regular plane? It's a community Yeah. Community plane? But it, you, but it, like, was, it had to be a little loud. It, it felt like, like a... Um, like that when is you're on the island, crazy. it felt like, like when a military big jet comes right over your head. That but in Manhattan... So watching right there. It's unbelievable. New York's worst nightmares come true. Oh my God.
came round and I was like, holy fuck, 
and it hit the second tower and then the impact blew out this way. So it was, it was two planes about 10 minutes apart. And obviously it's terrorists. Yeah. I mean, there's no way it's nothing so, else. Yeah. But, but even these guys, uh, these are guys, I don't know what these guys are like, Secret Service or something. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Because I, I just had a conversation with a guy and he goes, well, tell me what's happened. How do they know? They... But they, I've just heard their radios and they want everybody out of this area because they say that, um, they said that this area is a danger zone and they, they could be more um, like impacts or missiles or whatever. Fuck knows. But uh, did you did you just see what I saw? Yeah, people, yeah. That's fucking. I'm going on all. Bad. Bad. These guys saw it like half an hour ago. So people are alive up there jumping. I, I gotta believe these people are. I guess they're deceased or fire or, or, fire or, or smoke or whatever. And just, all the choice. I got it. And no one's cell phones working. Of course, they cut it so yeah. that all their phones will work. Oh. There's no way they're going to let you call your mates because the police need as much bandwidth as possible to yeah. call everybody. <laughs> and everyone knows someone. I who heard. Works I was. There. I was at home. I heard the. Eh, and then I heard this. And I just. I, I live on tents. And I went. A fucking plane's hit mid downtown mid Manhattan. And then my girlfriend was wanting to work. And she called me up. She goes, Andy, you're not going to fucking believe this. A plane has just flown into the World Trade Center. So I just like grabbed everything and ran out here. So I've been shooting footage coming all the way down there until I got here. I just thought it was a second explosion. I didn't realize No, it was no. Because everybody this close couldn't see it. And I was up there and I saw the fucking the thing come first in. First one impacted there? First one was here coming from downtown. You saw it impact? No, I no. didn't. But um, I was standing there and I saw the second one come from Newark direction. And it just went straight to the back of the building and the explosion came out uptown. Yeah, I got the, when I got the subway oh, out, back? yeah, huh? it, it came from back, yeah. Wow. I'm in a financial circle. Me too. Oh. I just got the subway. Yeah. You were there? Yeah. I was like, first one, me and my folks are always down. We heard it. Everyone's looking out. We're like, we're going back. We're looking to see the second one come flying in. No, we heard it. We're hearing it. There was a 737 no hijack. So Steve, did you see? Derek. They're checking out the cameras.
may not think it was going to come back. Yo, he did this shit! to run down the street as it was coming up behind us. It was horrible. I saw this thing when it happened. Oh, look, I saw this one. so low anyway straight in boom and blow up because it was coming real fast 
Because by the time the F-16 came around, F-16 so the F-16 fighter right on his tail. Why did he shoot him there? You know, because the plane is smaller and the maneuver is easier. So F-16 needs a bigger radius amount to maneuver. These were all suicides. One hit the South Tower five after nine. Right. The third plane went into the South Tower again. That's why you, you collapsed. All together, it was four planes. They all left five minutes after each other. Yeah, but the one we left from uh, Boston? The one for the Pentagon was at 8.45. Yeah. This one was at 10 to 9. Oh, nine when it hit? When yeah. it nine o'clock and then 9.05. Oh, my God. I that. Oh, shit. You know how many people are dead? I was I'm right there. My, I went to the obstetrician with my girlfriend and uh and we heard when this was going on. I'm like right there. I'm at the World Trade. I have a friend on the top floor too. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
and have passengers on it. I saw the impact of the at 95. Also the, there were some people coming down. Sorry. I saw four people coming down. They're all jumping. Yeah, they were jumping. There was a lot of people jumping. I was in the building when it went off. 905 at that time. Sorry for this guy right How'd you get out? What happened was I was down in the basement. All of a sudden we heard a, 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 a loud bang. And the elevator doors blew open. Some guy was, was burnt up. So I dragged him out. His, his skin was all hanging off. So I dragged him out and I pulled him out of the parking lot. This was all left on him. Pulled him out. When I pulled him out, I looked up and the second one, the, the second bomb blew off. Just saw a burst, a big burst. And then I saw people jumping out of the out of the, the buildings. How long have you worked here at the World Trade Center? About six months. The place where you've been employed for six months was there. Yes. 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Your reaction seeing it is gone. It's, it's not it's not the job, it's the people. It's the people that that that, that have died in there. That's what I'm worried about. The people that I can't see. I'm looking around looking for people and I don't see the people that I work with. The, uh, the elevator operator that was there when I dragged the guy out, I didn't see her, and that, that was, uh, it was, a, it was a mother, someone's mother that worked there. You know what I mean? I couldn't go back and get it, and get it. There was too much smoke, so I dragged him, and I gave him to I don't even know if he's alive. Let me get your name, please, sir. Kenny Jahanneman. Spell your last name? J-O-H-A-N-N-E-M-A-N-N. -N -N. Thank you. What? We, we don't know at this point. We do hear that many people were able to get out of the towers before they uh, collapsed. And uh, we did get a call into EMS at one point, and they basically said, don't even ask. 1010 Winds reporter Steve Kastenbaum is in lower Manhattan. And uh, Steve, were you in any of the imperiled spots? This is perhaps the most horrific sight anyone could have witnessed uh, in a lifetime. I cannot believe my eyes, uh, and I am still in shock as to what I witnessed just moments ago. Uh, first, it began with the two explosions as the planes hit the buildings, and, and as if that was not enough, uh, lower Manhattan was completely cordoned off. You could not get into the city. I managed to hop into an emergency services vehicle and got across the Brooklyn Bridge. Just as I got over the Brooklyn Bridge by City Hall, Tower 1 collapsed. All eyes looked towards the sky. It was the most surreal scene I have ever seen. I cannot describe what took place. The building literally just like is as, as, as if it was in slow motion, just toppled over right onto Lower Manhattan, sending up a humongous cloud filled with debris and dust. Then folks started running from Lower Manhattan covered in gray soot in a daze, in a fog. Then a half an hour later, again, the same feeling. The entire ground shook here. Windows rattled, buildings just rattled and rubbled back and forth as the second tower came down. At that point, uh, the police and the fire department literally just forced everybody out of Lower Manhattan, forcing everybody to walk, walk up towards Canal Street. The injured were just everywhere to be seen, walking up towards City Hill, uh, City Hall, covered in blood, in bandages, dazed, confused, just not able to comprehend the enormity of what just happened. Presumably, there were people still uh, in these buildings above the fires where this happened. And uh, the, the, the folks, there's no telling what might have happened to those buildings, uh, people who were on top of the uh, fire. Uh, again, this happened uh, in the morning, uh, more or less around 9 o'clock, so there were most likely people already inside the World Trade Center buildings when these two planes uh, uh, hit the structures. So uh, the, the loss of life, one can only imagine, is just enormous. It's, it must be incomprehensible at this point, Lee. Well, well Steve, we yeah, can we'll certainly confirm have some have loss of life. 1010 Wins Account Executive Joan Fleischer, who uh, has been with us since the beginning watching this unfold from uh, the rooftop of her home. Uh, Joan, you did actually see some people leap from the building, correct? Yes, I did. There must have been a lot of, from what I could see, maybe eight to ten people jumped out of the building. And it was, in fact, there was an explosion. There was, they just jumped, they left. 
And of course, it was just a short time later that uh, you witnessed the building actually collapse. Right. It looked to me like that building was on very thin. It, it looked like the top part where it had burned from was a little crooked, but I couldn't really tell because of the smoke. And sure enough, then it was no explosion, just a poof of like smoke. And then it just went down to the ground. No, no sound. If it was an explosion, it had no sound. It was just tons and tons of smoke.
Oh, white man. Tell me you which one you like. Exactly where were you? Ah, uh, did you just go in to recover or? Excuse me? Exactly where were you? Well, we went down and got as far as we could go. You can't get too far, everything's collapsed. You know? Try to hope maybe you'll hear somebody help call in and you can try to get to them. But, uh, you know, it's, it's really, you're working against the odds, you know? Were you there when the building collapsed? We were on our way walking towards it and it came down and it was kind of chasing us up this street. You know, it was almost like a movie, it was chasing us. And uh, we ran and then luckily it stopped before it got to us. So when it cleared, we tried to get back down. And do it. But sorry, that's all I got.